ever since you're little, growing up, uh, dreaming of World Cup, uh, just representing your country. So for it to happen and for it to happen at the age of 20 as well, it was a really, really special moment. And uh, like we said, it's probably why we're doing this, something I'll never forget. Your backstory is interesting. You went and you were playing in Norway at a pretty young age, right? How did that whole all happen? And sort of, can you walk me through what led you to be in that situation? Long story short is uh, kind of went on this European tour and uh, well, we were there for like three weeks. So it was like teams, scouts always came, watched trainings and we played teams from like Germany, Italy, Switzerland. So teams and scouts came and watched stuff. And uh, I was, I want to say 16, 17 at the time. Uh, yeah, that's when Molda saw me. So after those period with the team was done, I went to Molda for one week to train and whatnot. And uh, after the first training, uh, the goal, goalkeeper coach, Richard Hardis, and uh, the head coach, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, just called me in and said like, yeah, we've seen enough, we want to sign you. Uh, but the, the thing is, since I was so young, the problem was staying in the country since I was so young, so after that that week, I went back to, to the U.S., started junior year of high school the next day after I landed. Uh, and then from there, you know, just went about normal life. And then I had to go back to California for a U18 camp, and that's when Molda called just asking if, does Ethan have a team, what's going on? And so that's kind of where it all started. So after that camp, I went back to Norway, and it all kind of started from there. So I was there for three months on my passport. And uh, when I had to go back to reset my passport, they flew my, my parents over and kicked off from there. A lot of guys go over and don't have their family around. What was it like for you to be able to go through that and after the first three months, have your parents there with you? Yeah, it was really special and uh, helped a ton because I was uh, 17, 18 at the time now. And so to be at, at a young age like that in a foreign country, and, never been to don't understand the language it was really really nice and made the transition really easy to have my parents there for two years before they went back home what did they do while you were training all day i mean did they work or what happened like I mean, two years is a long time they just they worked at the stadium the the club got them jobs it wasn't the most glamorous job uh, just like custodians at the stadium because to get a, a work visa you have to do something so that's what they did, and uh, since I was that young, I was able to get a family visa with them. And um, yeah, you know, like I know it was not a nice job, but at the same time, I know it was special because while I was training, they were able to watch training and uh, yeah, see the evolution of everything. That's a big sacrifice, though. I mean, you know, for them to put their lives on hold, I'm sure, you know, you must look at sort of where it's led you and be really grateful. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. You know, if if uh, we didn't do like if we didn't do that, who knows what the path or what would have happened? You know, so uh, yeah, just really, really grateful for that. You know, guys talk about competition for positions all the time, but it feels like with goalkeepers, it's a little bit different because there just isn't as much rotation generally. How do you go about coming into a camp and knowing that there are several talented keepers who are all trying to get the same job that you're looking for. Yeah, you know, you can only control uh, yourself and what you do, you know, so you just go first of all day by day and uh, support each other because you know it's a uh, team sport at the end of the day and we all have the same goals and same objectives. Um, but like from my, my point of view, you know, you just got to control what you can control and that's just how, how well you train and how much you put into it. You've had some really memorable moments already um, with the national team. What do you remember about that night against Mexico? Yeah, almost everything. Uh, no, it was it was really really special to, uh, like for me, it's not so much the penalty save. It was just to have it in my hometown and in front of family and friends. That's that's what I remember the most. Just to share that moment with everybody and then the team, of course. What would it mean to you to have? moments like that or hopefully even better ones if the team is able to make it to Qatar? Yeah, I, I don't think it's just for me, but everybody, you know, like we said, growing up from 
whenever you started playing the sport and watching it and uh, watching the World Cup and everything, you know, it's uh, memories that will last a lifetime. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. It's, it was everyone's dream to represent your country in a World Cup. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.